Hello, in this video, we're going to maximize the following utility function right here, subject to a consumer's budget constraint. Here's our utility function. We're going to maximize that, subject to an income level of $12. The price of good X is $4 each, and the price of good Y is $1 each. First thing we're going to do is get the marginal utility of good X taking the partial derivative of the utility function on top here with respect to x, we get this result right here. And I'm just using the product rule here to get this result. In the marginal utility of good y, a little bit simpler. Derivative here of y is just 1, and just left with what we have remaining here. Now let's form the marginal rate of substitution, the ratio of the two marginal utilities. Marginal utility of good x in the numerator, marginal utility of good y in the denominator. Uh, we can do some simplification here. Uh, we got this uh, e raised to the 0.1x uh, appearing in the numerator in two places, and it also appears in the denominator. So those uh, that natural exponential function there will then completely cancel out, and you're left with this result here. Utility maximization, we're going to set the marginal rate of substitution equal to the ratio of the prices. Price of good X is $4, and we're going to divide that by 1. $1 represents the price of good Y. So the marginal rate of substitution equals 4 divided by 1, or just 4. And now we're going to simplify this a little bit. Okay, just rewriting that last expression. I'm going to multiply through by X squared, multiplying completely through by X squared gives us this result. Now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation through by x. So we're going to lose an x in each one of one of these three places here. So dividing through by x, we get this result. On the left hand side I'm going to factor out a y term. And what we have in parentheses I'm going to divide through by what's in parentheses and we now have an expression for y. Recall our budget constraint. We had $12 of consumers, uh, consumer income. Price of good X is $4. Price of good Y is $1. Now we have two equations and two unknowns where I have Y here in the budget constraint. I'm going to replace that with 4X divided by 2 plus 0.1X. Making that substitution into the budget constraint, I'm just going to solve this for X. So once again, after making our substitution in the budget constraint, we're going to now solve this for x. Uh, I'm going to multiply both sides through by what I have in the denominator here. So multiplying everything through by what I have in the denominator gives us this step here. Now simplifying a little bit on the left-hand side and simplifying here on the right-hand side gives us this result. Uh, we're going to collect some of the terms now. 8x plus 4x is the 12x. The uh, 1.2x subtracted from the 12x is this 10.8x. And now we have a, uh, a quadratic equation. We can use a quadratic formula here to solve for the roots. So a is 0 0.4, b is 10.8, and c is minus 24 plugging all of that information into the quadratic formula and now simplifying simplifying some more uh, taking the square root of this 155.04 minus 10.8 plus 12.45 gives us 1.65 and after doing the division here we get 2.06 on the other hand, if we take minus 10.8 and subtract 12.45, we get a negative result in the numerator, and so we get a nonsensical result, so we can't buy almost minus 30 units of good x, so we can ignore this result here. So the utility maximizing level of good x that the consumer should buy is a little over two units. As for how many units of good y, we can take this result here and plug it back into the budget constraint so here's our budget constraint. We're going to replace x with that 2.06 and now solve this for y. 
and Y equals 3.76. The consumer should buy 3.76 units of good Y and 2.06 units of good X. Okay, that's it.